What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon News Daily, a daily Pokemon show where I go over Pokemon news spamming across all the Pokemon games, including Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, Pokemon Quest, Pokemon Go, and of course, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee Games. Today is Monday, July 16th, 2018, the Monday after Pokemon Go Fest. And that's gonna actually be our first news story of today. So let's jump right into it. Now, this is coming from PokemonGoLive.com. I'm gonna have a link to this news article in the description below. Niantic official blog post website again, where they give us updates on Pokemon Go. And this is a kind of update or a recap on what happened at Pokemon Go Fest. It says, wow, what a Amazing weekend. Thank you so much for the 21,000 trainers who attended Pokemon Go Fest in Chicago, USA. The 1,800,000 trainers participating in the surrounding Chicago areas and the tens of millions of trainers around the world who took part in the Professor Willows Challenge. Event attendees walked an average of more than six kilometers, completing an average of 36 research tasks and catching an average of 350 Pokemon on July 14th and July 15th in the beautiful Lincoln Park. Trainers enjoyed a 1.8 mile curated walking path featuring four dynamic habitats filled with more than 50 species of Pokemon. In addition to the cheering Pokemon, Pulse and Minus appearing throughout the event, which was also unlocked as shiny Pokemon with the this event, trainers encountered Pokemon such as Ludisco, the rainy guy, I, I'm gonna just have an image of him, Torkoal, and Megagross while completing important research tasks on the way to discovering the mythical Pokemon, Celebi. And as of right now, that Celebi quest is currently locked to the only people that participated in Pokemon Go Fest that were out there in Chicago. That hasn't gone worldwide. I think we're gonna get that update pretty sooner than later. Expect it to be rolled out as soon as tomorrow or as late as Thursday. I don't think they're gonna hold that off for like a month or so. I don't think that's gonna actually happen. Cat's out of the bag, Celebi's in the game. They just need to unlock it worldwide for players to catch. It says team tents were buzzing with activity, including photo opportunity and fun contests. Outside the park, the city of Chicago lit up with exciting ray battles to keep the fun going. Even a little rain on the heat of the afternoon sun couldn't stop the thousands of trainers from exploring, snapping AR photos amongst the cacti of the desert habitat and periodic snowstorms in the galactic habitat. Trainers congratulated each other on completing important research tasks and catching shiny forms of Pokemon. And cheers continually echoed throughout the park from Team Tents where games and music help attendees get loose. The mood was infectious all weekend. The feeling of courtesy, kindness, and togetherness never left Lincoln Park even as trainers filled out at the end of Sunday's journey. But that's not all. Trainers around the world once again showed their dedication to completing the global challenge. No matter which team you are on and where you live, you will be able to access all relatable bonuses for your success during Pokemon Go Fest. Until July 23rd, you'll be able to enjoy double the usual candy when catching Pokemon, double candy when hatching eggs, and guarantee rare candy during raids. Plus, all eggs will hatch in half the distance, including the 7K eggs that hatch exclusive Alolan Pokemon. In addition to these amazing bonuses, the legendary Pokemon Zapdos will be available in raids around the world during Zapdos Day on July 21st. If you are lucky, you may encounter a shiny Zapdos. When you spend a photo disc at gyms, you will receive a raid pass up to five times, starting when the event kicks off in the Asian Pacific region. Make it a day to remember by supporting your fellow trainers and remember to obey by all laws and leave your community better than you found it. 
Today was amazing and we can't wait to see how you come together and complete the final leg of the global challenge on August 29th throughout September 2nd during the Safari Zone event in Yokosuka, Japan. If all goes well and all the tasks are complete, a special ultra bonus will be unlocked. Get ready for more fun ahead and we hope you have an incredible time participating in Zapdos Day. Now working my way backwards to all of this information, it says if all goes well, all tasks will be completed and a special ultra bonus will be unlocked during that Safari Zone event in Yokosuda, Japan. Nine times out of ten, that event is basically going to be the Motres Day, where Motres is going to be the raid bonus Pokemon, where you can go out, raid for Motres, and potentially get its shiny form. I think it's pretty cool. Motres is probably the definitive shiny bird Pokemon out of the three. It has a pink fire flare, I want to say, and the other two just have like little sudden different changes with them. I think Motres is again the best shiny of the three legendary birds so i think that's cool to look forward to also receiving five raid passes on zapdos day is pretty cool just getting zapdos day is pretty cool again on july 21st and we're gonna have a chance to get the shiny version of zapdos which again is just a little slight color difference but it's still cool if you are into getting shinies and stuff like that obviously for me the best thing that came out of this as rewards is the double candy from catching pokemon and hatching eggs as well as the eggs taking half the distance to hatch including those alone form eggs so i can grind and hopefully get a lone vulpix because that's my goal right now try to grind for that lone vulpix just 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 let me just just come out just hatch and the fact that these eggs are hatching faster is great for for everybody for all these eggs like let's go let's hatch as much eggs as possible until july 23rd so we have like i think about a week to get as much walking done as possible to hatch as many eggs as possible so let me know your thoughts and experiences your war stories from pokemon go fest if you were in chicago if you weren't in what city you were in where town you was in what was your experience playing pokemon go during go fest i know a lot of rare spawns i've seen a lot of starters when i was playing i've seen a lot of pulse of mining i didn't catch a shiny of anything but i filled a lot of my pokedex i got a lot of of Pokédex entries during this time, so I'm not complaining. I wish I would have caught an Aerodactyl. I seen one, I ran to it. I threw like four Ultra Balls and four Golden Raspberries, and it just kept popping out of it. I don't know if it was my cell service. End up running, I end up crying, but at the end of the day, that was my goal experience. That was my highlight, if, they, if I had a highlight, but let me know yours in the comment section below. Now for the second news story of the day, it's gonna be on the games Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon. This is coming from Serbi.net. I'm gonna have a link to this news article in the description below. It said it has been confirmed that Metatola, or however you say this Pokemon name, will be distributed at the Pokemon World Championship in Nashville, Tennessee next month on August 24th throughout August 26th. This Pokemon is gonna be coming in at level 50 with the Metrodome item and we will know the move celebrate relic song around and sing I believe this is the first time this Pokemon is gonna have that move celebrate let me know in the comment section below if I'm wrong but I think that's pretty cool nonetheless let me know your thoughts of this move set as well in the description below do you think this is gonna be a new quote-unquote meta if anything let me know if you are gonna be able to pick this up if you if you are going to the Pokemon world Championship championship 2018 in nashville tennessee if you're going to be in attendance to grab this bad boy most of us are gonna miss out am i sour that i'm missing out yeah but I, to me it doesn't really matter i have this pokemon in my bank i have tons of them in my bank what i'm more concerned about is that are we going to be able to teach this pokemon that celebrate move outside of this event or is that move going to be exclusive to the people that went to this pokemon world championship 2018 event let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section below now rolling on to the next news story this one was tweeted out by the funko pop 
official Twitter page. And as you guys know, the Target exclusive Pikachu Funko Pop is being released in July. Now we are halfway through July, so it should be showing up in stores now at Target location. So go out and hunt. I'm bringing this up because they did a unboxing on their Twitter. and I believe it should be up on their YouTube page as well. I wanted to just show you guys a quick highlight from it just so you guys could kind of see the Pikachu pop outside of the box officially unboxed quote unquote by the people who made it. They also stated in the video what other Pokemon would you like to see turn into a Funko Pop figure? Now obviously if you're like me you're like I want all of them. To me obviously I want to see Charmander, I want to see the starters, I want to see their full evolution line, I want to see Charmeleon, I want to see Charizard, I want to see Blastoise, Squirtle, War Tortoise, Venusaur, Ivysaur, I mean, I, I, but let me know your thoughts of which Pokemon that you want to see in the comment section below. Also, I have to bring this up. Somebody on my Instagram brought up the idea of not just Pokemon being appearing as Funko Pops, but their trainers as well as maybe getting, you know, Red, Blue, Ash, Gary, Professor Oak as Funko Pop figures as well. I think that's going to naturally happen as well as they rolling out figures. They're going to milk Pokemon for everything is worth. They have 800 Pokemon to choose from on top of the characters like Brock and Misty and stuff like that. I think that's going to come. That's a no brainer. Let me know your thoughts on what character you would like to see as well in the comment section below. Now that's going to have to do it for today's Pokemon news daily. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Pokemon Go Fest and your thoughts on everything that came out of it as far as rewards. Zapdos Day eggs now hatching faster than usual let me know your thoughts on your experience on pokemon go fest 2018 also let me know if you are interested in the pikachu funko pop i think it's pretty cool i know i'm gonna try to get my hands on one right now again i'm currently in switzerland so i don't even know where i'm gonna where it's gonna actually pop up in switzerland hopefully i can just pop up in one of my stores local stores where i see the funko pop i'm scared that it's gonna be a target exclusive and only be targeted Target, even worldwide which I don't see the point but let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below and also let me know your thoughts on this mythical Pokemon event being held at the Pokemon World Championship at Texas Tennessee Nashville whatever let me know your thoughts on it are you gonna be in the attendees are you gonna get your hands on one if not are you sour about it? Let me know in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy and my Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.